Yeah, what's going on? Uh, man, I seen a show the other day about programmable matter. Well, I've seen a few shows where it's like basically uh, through nanofiber, nanotech. I mean, uh, the stop the crime dot net. I, I've listened to this lady for a while and uh, talks a lot about nanoparticles uh, in the uh, chemtrails, smart dust, uh, uh, more gallons. And more gallons basically seems like they've created a new type of life form that is, it's not alive, it's not dead, it's like, it's like, uh, they're like invasive parasites. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I was saying, it, it seems like it's the same kind of technology, like uh, L.A. Marzulli, when he finds these abductees, alien abductees, they have these microchips in them, and they don't, they have no point of entry. They don't know how they get in there, all they know is they're, they're like alive, they move on their own, they have like a frequency emitted, and, uh, I'm wondering if these nanoparticles, these nanofibers, these tubules, the, they're like tubes, they grow into these little tubes, just like, uh, uh, what is that called, those little light things, man, uh, fiber optic cable. But it's basically like a, an organism that grows into fiber optics microscopically and creates its own little crystals. They're like prions or something like that. Uh, anyway, this programmable matter, when I seen it, I was like, I mean, it is Terminator 2 technology. But really, let me spin this into the Bible. What is they had the power to give life to the image of the beast? It sounds like this programmable matter. And here's another thing. Let's say a demon that can, it can interface directly. It can kind of indirectly interface with humans. But let's say it can, it can just take this programmable matter like magic wizardry and uh, form a body for itself to reanimate and live in uh, upon the earth again. These ancient spirits, you know what I'm saying? That are, they're, there, that is the undead. That is your ghouls. That's your vampire. That's your all that, basically. And it said that you know, and they were also able to do miracles in the sight of the beast. the The programmable matter itself, it can take any shape. It can change its shape. It can materialize. Uh, it can do all this crazy stuff. It's because it's 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 a cyborg or it's like transcendence. Uh. Basically, uh, lawnmower man, uh, antichrist. Uh, it's it, it's crazy, but uh, it's it, it also reminds me a lot of on the Matrix when Neo eats the pill and then his hand turns into like silver putty and it goes down his throat and it woo and all that stuff they could program and make stuff show up out of nowhere. It it sounds like they're talking about this programmable matter programmable putty or liquid and you know i mean they have been experimenting and they have made synthetic life forms and it sounds like there is a synthetic life form take over as we speak you know what i'm saying uh and this this could be programmable matter could be the rebirth of monsters all the thing that they couldn't do through human or even biological biological splicing like cloning and splicing of genetics of different creatures it's like they couldn't do it with that but with programmable matter on the other hand they got these little micro machines that are just as small as atoms and cells and they could get inside your body and basically hijack it or I, according to the you know like i said the mark of the beast it's the seal on your hand your forehead it's like someone i heard i heard it's like someone who has the law of God written in their heart, has the seal of God. And someone who doesn't follow it, follows the Antichrist, has this, the mark of the beast already. But when it says the mark that no man shall buy, sell, or trade with, uh, that seems like it doesn't facilitate just having the law in our heart. I mean, but hey, I, I can't even go do a lot of things. I, it seems like I get a lot of uh, discrimination from the system. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I try to get an ID. And they said, I'm not in the system. You know what I'm saying? Which is impossible. How come if I, if a cop, 
uh, stop me right now. I don't even have an ID. He knows who I am. He knows I'm telling the truth. He knows my name. He can look right at my record. But yet I come into this place with an ID, multiple things with my name on it, and they said I'm not in the system. When I know for sure three years ago I did get uh, an ID in, uh, what is that called, uh, Davis in Michigan. So, strange. But I don't know, maybe that's part of the, the B system. They're, they're, they can get to target people. Like I heard on the Hagmans too that there was a woman who basically liked that movie The Net where her, her identity got erased. They did that to some woman in New York who was like a whistleblower. <coughs> and that's like, uh, that's like Obama targeting Republicans for tax uh, audits or uh, Democrats who wouldn't support his policy. He would sick the system on them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's when you can just take the system and sick it on someone, whether they're guilty or not. That's a that's a flaw system. That's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like. Uh, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it's flawed by the, by that very definition. There. When you can use the system against someone who's innocent, the system is flawed. Just like when the in the justice system, when it's a person is innocent, but yet they present this evidence that they get convicted for something they didn't do. And then years later, they're like, hey, we found this evidence, man. It, it shows here you guys tampered with the DNA results. And Oh, we can't do nothing about it. Uh, it's uh, We're making too much money from this guy being in prison. That is a flawed system. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a system that would say you cannot buy, sell, or trade unless you take a microchip is a flawed system. Because we didn't need no uh, microchips in, from the beginning of time to buy, sell, and trade. So why would you even do this? Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't make no sense in a productive sense. It only makes sense as if you are an evil, corrupt person and you're trying to enslave every living creature. You know what I'm saying? And they get to speak about this sh this stuff behind closed doors and they don't see nothing wrong with it. And I mean, and therein lies the flaw in these people's minds. You know, so uh, programmable matter, uh, nano uh, particle, mar nano particuli, smart dust. Terminators, you know what I'm saying? Mark of the beast, given power to give life unto the image of the beast. Programmable matter, smart dust, 